Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to someone that goes by a, a Nyko Dong. Forgive me if I mispronounce any of that, but thank you for your continued support. I want to answer this question. Okay, it says, do all narcs want to destroy you? All right, we talk a lot about that. Remember how the enemy, the devil, he always, yeah, his job, his assignment is to try and steal, kill, and destroy. All right, same thing as these narcs. That's what, you know, they're on assignment to try and do is to steal, kill, and destroy. So, yeah. All right, and how they do that is, oh my goodness, they do it and try to do it in a number of ways, but largely through the narcissistic abuse. Absolutely. You know, and so they want, because they want to, see, stop and think about this scenario, you all. All right, if God had not awakened us and we kept falling for it and dishing out that reactive abuse, eventually, you know, it could have overcome, it could have overtaken us. And that's what the enemy wants to happen. Is for us to continuously step out of character. Listen, y'all, if you're still working on that, hang in there, okay? You will get to that point where when the narc tries to poke and prod, you'll see exactly what they're doing, and you will not give them any emotional supply at all. In fact, many of us just end up walking away. <laughs> we give them the mommy or the daddy look, and we walk away, you know, because it's not even worth it, you know, if they try to do that. All right, and so that's that. But you do get to that point, absolutely, because you're protecting your peace. All right, you're protecting your peace. You're not going to let them get in there and disrupt what you, what, what God has <laughs> worked hard to help you achieve. Okay, so you, you're going to protect it. You're going to, you're, you're a soldier for God. So anything that you know, all of that restoration and stuff that God had is doing and had done. When you get to that point where it's like you spot them, they're trying to get a negative emotional reaction out of you or to try to trip you up into engaging in the exact same stuff, dish it back out. See, they think that's love, y'all. Seriously, never forget that. They truly, truly believe that the abuse is love. They know better, but that's what they've been taught. Okay, that's all they know. So we realized this, that, oh, okay, so if we're not dishing it back out, they will accuse us of, of, of not knowing love and things like that. And we learn to let that roll and not even, you know what, let them think what they want to think, okay? Because <laughs> we know better. All right, but they definitely do. All right, and the other way is to, that's because they want to turn you into a narc, okay, through that constant getting under your skin and things like that. They want to turn God's chosen empath into a narc. Now, when God awakens us to and from the abuse, we recognize the moot in our own eye. We do that inner work. We let God and Jesus do what they got to do. Okay, and then we continue with them, mm -hmm, picking up our cross and following Jesus mm -hmm, and, and following his teaching to learning how to become more Christ-like, more patient, get that God-like patience that we've got to have and things like that, how to be wise as a serpent while being gentle as a dove and all of that while still being bold as a lion, okay? So we'll, we learn all of this, okay? But that's what the narcs don't want to see us do. They would rather, you know, try to destroy us by turning us into one of them because let's stop and think. All right, they are, you know, remember God said, wide is the path of destruction, okay? Wide is the path of destruction, which is following the crowd, all right? And so they continue to do that, and so they're the ones living in their own inner turmoil, okay? That's their own internal, you know, hell, if you will, all right? That's their own, that's their own internal lake of fire, that emotional dysregulation, Okay, they want to turn others into another one of them so that they can continue to, quote unquote, feel a little bit normal. Mm-hmm, that's, that's how they get that, right? and that comfort zone, mm-hmm, so that their demon spirit will stay, you know, won't be as restless, so to speak, right? Because they can't handle it. They don't know that's what's going on. They don't realize it. Mm-mm, no. That, that's why we're talking about the crept and unawares. They don't know 
that they've got those demon spirits and that's what's going on. They have no idea. They think that the behaviors they're engaging in, even though a lot of them they know that's wrong, they don't know the why, that they don't understand where it's coming from. They don't they don't get it. All right, because they won't they won't take accountability for their own actions and they won't recognize the moot in their own eye. That's why another reason why we learn to like overcome <laughs> overcome wanting to confront them on it because it's it's like talking to a brick wall. That's many of us can attest to that when we've tried to step in and see if we could correct all right the narcissistic narcissistic abuser and make them aware of their bad behaviors and we realize what that what what happened. Okay, yes, they lashed out or they stomped off, throw a temper tantrum. Uh, blame shift, deny, and all of that stuff. And so it's like, okay, never mind. <laughs> She's talking to a brick wall, basically. So that's why we overcome that. So never forget <laughs> that for those of you who are still in that stage, keep going because you will. You'll overcome that. All right. Remember, everything is it, kind of like you. You you got a baby step. You, know, you got to crawl before we can walk. Right. Yes, because remember, re, being reborn again in spirit, it's a whole. It's a spiritual birth. So we think of it in that ter in those terms, okay? Because you're going, you're being reborn a, a, that a spirit, okay, in spirit. That raising of the spiritual body, and so you're going to go through the, the uh, a, a kind of like an, a whole nother a, a spiritual childhood development in a way. All right, that's the best way I can put it. So you're going to go through those stages. Okay, you're going to overcome that, and then you'll overcome you know the anger, the animosity, and all of that going forward. Okay, once you realize that you know what, you got to turn it over to God. That's that to make it all the way to that radical acceptance. All right, and then for those of you, for a quick reminder, for those of you, you saw the uh, Consulting for Heightened Awareness Academy, uh, kind of like a, a short promotion at the very beginning of the video. And if you missed it, just remember that you have the option of making a one-time payment or five monthly installments, whichever works best for you. And you have access to that for up to one year. Okay, once you, once you purchase the course, you'll have access to it for one year the only thing is, if you, if you choose the five payment option, it won't let you back in until each payment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you make the first payment, you'll get in, and then the second payment, when it comes due, it will it will want to collect that before it'll let you back in after that date, like the month, okay? So, you know, you can learn at your own pace is what it's all about, all right? It's very simple. I don't bog y'all down with the overly sophisticated complicated words mm -mm, no just to help educate you with god's wisdom and basic scientific facts so you understand what was going on during the trauma bonding process because that's going to help you level up your healing and spiritual growth absolutely 100 percent. because once you have a good understanding of what was going on with that brain chemistry and then also with the spiritual truths behind it it'll help you get more regulated and then also to know how to okay there's there many different ways but that's just one more avenue of, of help for you all okay with the education and you know and we also talk about it i got a chapter over there about how the overinflated ego see these narcs that have the overinflated ego mm -hmm, that's that opens up the portal for the unclean spirit the demon spirit okay so there you go because right, they're, they're very ego driven all right, very ego driven. Anything that bruises their ego upsets them and they want to go destroy whatever it is that bruised their ego. So absolutely, okay, they definitely want to destroy their target. After all, it's the enemy who gets off on seeing people suffer. And so these narcissistic abusers, many of us have had this happen where the abuser had us on our knees or, or on the floor or whatever, and we were bawling our eyes out, and they would stand there and look at us with that evil, sadistic smirk on their face. And we were like, dude, that's not even, I mean, it was, you know, it was creepy at first. But see, after that, we learned to not give that to them, because that's what they want. They're getting off on watching their target suffer. It's sick and very, it is, it's sick and twisted, it's pure evil. Okay, in human form. So, yeah, it takes a while to overcome that. We know that. 
but many of us have had that happen. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and seriously, yeah. Or And then some of us who actually had a uh, procedure that we had to have done, and we ended up in the hospital for a little bit, and then we, we you know, I, I remember, okay, the psycho sitting in the chair, doom and gloom, and had that very, very eerie, sadistic, okay, a, a, a sadistic look on his face. Like he was deriving pleasure out of watching me, you know, I was sitting there doing homework. Yeah, I was still doing homework as I was recovering. But he just, that was really, I will never forget that. So that that's how they are, okay? That is how evil these narcissistic abusers are. They truly, they, they, they like to see people suffering. That's, that's their thrill, okay? Remember, that's what makes them feel powerful, makes them feel like they're in control because they could tear somebody down to make themselves feel better, and we know what that means. That means underneath all of that, they're really a coward, okay? They are a weak coward. Anybody who does that had to go around tearing people down just to make themselves feel better, that is a weak coward absolutely 100 percent all right so never forget that one all right but i wanted to go ahead and say yeah they really truly do all right they want to destroy whatever they can they are on the wide path of destruction after all and so that's why many of us in the aftermath many of us had a lot of cleaning up to do unfortunately but we get it done uh-huh as god restores tenfold a hundredfold and he always god always brings something back better Okay, so never forget that. I, as always, if you've got any further questions, you know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.